Alright guys, let's go. This is DM and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K17, my career mode, the career of Seth Cross. And here we are in week 3 of August on our way to another NXT TakeOver. Currently rank 3 with rank 1 being Baron Corbin, our opponent tonight on NXT. And then Samoa Joe mixed in there somewhere. I believe he's actually facing Sammy in the card. I'll show you guys the card. I don't know how to do that, but that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. He's facing Baron Blade, who sucks and shouldn't be in the top 10 anyway. Sami Zayn is going up against Shinsuke Nakamura, who is known as an on the ring, I think. For the main event, of course. Okay, he's going up against the 8th contender overall. We are at 157 days into our Heyman Challenge, the one that we are pretty much have the only hope of actually making. And our t-shirt sales are fantastic at 15,000. I don't know why I did that so fast, because you couldn't see that unless you want to pause the video, but there it is. But enough about that, guys. We are going to get right into this match. You guys know Seth Cross, Baron Corbin, always five-star matches. They always put on a show. Baron Corbin always brings out the best of Seth Cross. Seth Cross always brings out the best of Baron Corbin. So hopefully here we see another instance of that. But we got to get into the match, and we're going to do that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Full Sail University once again. Here we are for another exciting episode of Wednesday Night. NXT, of course, we are in Orlando, Florida, like I said, the Full Sail University, but these Full Sail University audience members are already on their feet. And after all, who could blame them? They're about to see the WWE United States Champion here on NXT. Seth Cross is going to be taking on longtime personal rival Baron Corbin in a one-on-one -on -one competition. And here you see, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready for Seth Cross, your United States Champion, to come down to the ring as his music hits. And where is he? There he is. There's the man, the myth, the legend, red, white, and blue. But there's Baron Corbin right behind him. And he's attacking Seth Cross from behind and throwing him down. That ramp is not padded. That is not secured for competition, Baron. And you know it. And you know it. And oh my god, smashing his face down into the ramp and then just putting all his weight on the back of his neck. You can... I don't know if you could break his neck, but you could seriously injure a man like that. Not to mention smashing his face into the concrete. And Baron Corbin is just going at it, but oh, Seth Cross has had enough. Seth Cross has had enough, but Baron Blade doesn't care. Seth Cross has again, and Baron Blade doesn't care. Oh, Baron Blade. Baron Corbin doesn't care. And now he's going for that big backbreaker over the knee. And Seth picking up the hand. He's got him up. Oh, and then with the foot in his gut, he flipped him over his own body. And Seth Cross got his United States title up. Oh, and he went for a shot. He went for a shot, but he couldn't get it. But he's still on his feet. All the Baron Corman is once again a monster. And he's running down to the ring, daring Seth Cross to come after him. Seth Cross with that title and some big shot in the face. My God. And now he's got it again. And he hits him one more time. You want to attack me? This is what Seth Cross is saying. You want to attack me. The United States Champion here in my, my WWE, my NXT. This ain't yours anymore. I have taken over, just like your pay-per-views always say, but Baron Baron Corbin, once again, with another reverse. Oh, God, I didn't get it. And now with the Irish whip down the road, ramp, Baron Corbin running into the crowd for some ungodly reason. He's trying to get into this ring. Tell me, is this another match again? Baron Corbin just staring Seth Cross in the face, in the face, and Seth is not having any of it, springboarding into a big forearm, and Seth Cross, all hyped up this crowd way behind their champion, oh, and the referee has decided to ring the bell, both competitors in the ring, and Seth Cross is going right after Baron Corbin, he's not giving them a moment to relax, do you want to attack me, Baron? You want to try to get, you know, stab me in the back? Break your neck over my own knee. Oh my goodness, this is insane. This action you can only find this here on NXT. And these beautiful kicks by Seth Cross are just coming at Baron from every direction. But Baron Corbin, he's not going to stay down. He's not going to stay down. Oh, and a big kick. And then the deep six out of nowhere. He hit the deep six out of nowhere. Seth Cross is in the road, but the referee didn't see it. Baron Corbin, though, he's so upset right there. You saw his face. How is he just able to get up like that? What kind of man, what kind of machine is Seth Cross? And oh, he snuck out of it. I don't know what Baron Corbin was going for there, but he just snuck out of it. What, what are we doing here? Jumping over another one. And now Seth at the top of the man, he hits the swan time. 
he hits the swan down and he gets right up saying, I'm not done yet. I'm not finished yet. I've got more in the tank. There's more for you, ladies and gentlemen, here. Full sale. Now, oh God, but Baron Corbin hitting for a big, Jesus, a big power ball. Completely putting a, a, a stop to any momentum Seth Cross could have had in there. Another side backbreaker. And now punches straight to the face. The referee's got to get rid of that closed hand on Baron Corbin. And now a big stunt from the gun. And Baron Corbin has taken over this match. He's taken over the momentum of this match. And Seth Cross is in a bad way. Oh, but he trips him up. He trips him up. And now he's got a big stomp of his own. And he pulls the arm out. And a big stomp right there on the back of the shoulder. Maybe trying to take the strength out. Trying to keep Baron Corbin from hitting that end of days. And Seth Cross once again getting another forearm. Oh, responding with a fist of his own. Yeah, a fist of his own. Into the corner, a big forearm. And now his own closed hand, punching Baron, Baron Corbin right in the face. And he's going over to that corner, and now he's calling for that super kick. That big super kick he likes to hit, and Baron Corbin's all the way across the ring to, where are you going? Oh, God, there you see his neck snap back. Baron Corbin might be unconscious right now. Is this it? Is Baron Corbin down for one, two, three? Referee is in position one, two, three, number. No, no, that's not number three. And of course, Baron Corbin definitely can't be done yet. This is a Baron Corbin Seth Cross match. And as only they can do, they're going to take each other to the limit. And now Seth Cross trying to stay in control here, trying to keep the momentum in his favor because that's what he has to do. He cannot let Baron Corbin get back. Oh, and Baron Corbin just got tossed out of the ring with that forearm. Now Seth, what are you doing? Driving through. Driving. Diving through the middle ropes. Just smashing a rocket through the air into Baron Corbin's face. And he is feeling it. The crowd is feeling it. The crowd is on their feet behind their United States champion. Baron Corbin barely knows what's going on. Barely able to stand. And now Seth Cross calling for Baron Corbin to get up. He's still on the apron. He's still on the apron. And a big forearm. Seth Cross got most of it. And he's going for the, the pin again. One. Is this going to be a two? Three. No, it's not. No, it's not. Baron Corbin, that fortitude. That just resiliency. That never say die attitude. Oh, and another kick to the back. But Baron Corbin's up. Baron Corbin's up. Oh, and he's putting Seth down with his own uh, deep six, but Seth kicks right back out. Look at the face on Baron Corbin. It looks like he's seen a ghost. And now Seth's up. Oh, God. Seth's up. He's going for the close line. He's hitting them. Oh, God. And a big flying crossbody. And another big close line. And the camp up. He's out of control. What is he even doing? Seth Cross is a man on fire right now. He's calling for another one. He's calling for another one. And he's going to juke and job across the ring. Oh, but Baron saw it coming. Baron saw it coming. Seth Cross saw that coming into an arm drag. And then a big DDT. A big DDT to Baron Corbin. Now the Irish whip into the corner. Seth Cross has to regain control. He's got to regain something. And now with the whisper and the wind off the turnbuckle. Could this be it? He can't stand. He crawls and falls into a pin. One, two, three. Yes, it was. That was the match. Seth Cross off the whisper in the wind. Oh my God. Baron Corbin nearly had him more than once two deep sixes and i'm sure he was looking for the end of the day that might have been it right there but Seth cross managing to weasel his way out of it the swan time hitting one super kick baron uh avoiding the second super kick and nearly nearly ending Seth cross but Seth cross is able to hold on to persevere the resiliency the heart of both of these men is out of control and there you see it the whisper and the wind into the pin. He couldn't even actually pin pin him. He fell on top of Baron Corbin and managed to hook the leg. Honestly, if he hadn't fought the hook the leg, that could have been a kick out. This match might still be going on right now, but ladies and gentlemen, that was your main event. I don't care if it was your main event or not. That was the main event 
of NXT. And normally I don't show you guys the screen, but I did want you to see because I forgot that the rating wasn't shown. Yes, it was a five-star match, just like we always did with Baron Corbin. Look at that DC, I love it. And for some reason, oh, because we fought on the outside our, our heel rating shot up, but whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, though, you got to admit, that was an amazing match. And Baron Corbin feels like he's got something to prove. So he has asked for a rematch of Seth Cross, and nobody's going to deny it. Nobody's going to disagree. These two always put on the best matches, the greatest matches of all time, those five-star matches. So why not let them do it one more time on main event? Seth Cross's show, the red, white, and blue show, the red, white, and blue champion. Here we go. And just so you guys know, you know I always tell you when the main event of main event is us, and it ain't us tonight. We are uh, one match behind against our under, or under, beneath, before, Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe, who I believe once again is not the number one contender. So Sami Zayn getting a lot of easy matches, it seems like. Hmm, must be nice to be a champion with some easy matches. I mean, meanwhile, you got the United States champion here constantly putting on five-star matches with his probably number one rival. But, you know, never mind that. Let's just give Sami Zayn guys who are like six on the list. He doesn't need to actually be competitive or anything. You know, he's not that champion. Oh, God, and Baron Corbin. These two know each other way too well. Baron just saw that kick coming a mile away, and he kicked, or he uh, pushed those legs right aside. Just like he just saw whatever Seth was about to do there. Because it didn't matter. He's, oh, God, he just got flipped at a big punch straight to the face. And great body positioning by Baron Corbin. Let's just say that there was no way the referee could have seen that. Probably just the way Baron Corbin wanted it. But now Seth, he got up from that big kick to the back. And then he's going to put the kick straight. Or not the kick, the backbreaker straight to Baron Corbin. And he's going to stop him a little bit. Pick him back up. Hit the elbows. Hit the elbows. Hit the elbows. Alright, I uh, don't know what happened there. Trying to hit some kind of a maneuver, and I just kind of said that. Right. Oh god, no. That's what happens when you get some of this in the Now, oh, and Seth went for the roll up. Oh. And Baron Corbin wasn't too thrilled about that. Oh, and then the sling blade. Oh, he's got the yellow stuff on him. Huh. And a shooting stun press from the standing position. My god, what a beautiful move. Now Seth Cross with the arm hooked, putting Baron Corbin in the sky and then dragging him back down for that body slam. Slapping on that, telling the crowd I'm still going, we're still going strong. This is going to be another amazing match when he caught him. Oh my god, look at the agility. Oh, you look at him, you look back at me and watch me kick him in the ass. Ah, uh, that's funny. Oh, but now you're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. Turning him back around. Oh, oh, the knee, the knee straight up spine into the reverse DDT. And my God, that was insane. My God, and Seth already going. You know he's already going for the super kick. Baron Corbin, you better duck. You better duck. Baron, duck. He ducked. I was kidding. Don't really duck the jackass. Oh my God. And now he's up on. Oh, and a back body drop. Baron, wait, oh, Baron Corbin. Is I can never reverse this, and I hate it. The deep six. But I'm going to get him a one count. And Baron Corbin is getting frustrated already. You know Baron Corbin feels like Seth Cross is the one guy he's never defeated. The one guy that even though he gives it his all, his all. Oh, the hurt the moment. Even though he tries his hardest, Seth Cross always has an answer for everything except for whatever that was. Because that's going to be a neck breaker down. Oh, but Seth did have an answer. And now he's got a little something to say to the crowd. Apparently, not the crowd. Um, and a big forearm over the top rope. And I actually didn't think I was going to get the end. And the moonsault salt also off of the top rope. And Seth Cross is once again in control. Like only he can be going forward. That DDT from that kneeling position. Baron Corbin is such a big man. It's actually scary how easily that DDT almost looks like it was meant to be that way when he's on his knee. And now, oh, Baron Corbin trying to avoid what he got. Whispered in the wind. And now Seth is looking for the end. 
He's looking for the end. He's, he's not trying to put on a five star this night. He's trying to put on the lights. Ouch. Which is contradictory kind of if they're trying to put on the lights out. I'm pretty sure that's not what they're thinking. Look at that beautiful maneuver right there. My god, the set. Oh! Maybe Seth isn't done. Maybe he's not done. Trying to pick Baron Corbin up. Oh, no, Baron Corbin spinning out of it. Spinning out of it. Oh, and now Seth being told to get up. Corbin's waiting for him. Corbin's stalking him. Corbin's stalking him, but Seth is ready. Ready and waiting with a back body drop. Oh, and a big sent on for Baron Corbin. And now going to the top rope. Hitting that big sent on another very beautiful top rope maneuver that only Seth could put on. And once again, he didn't get it before. Baron Corbin avoided the first super kick and he wants another one. He wants another one. Can he get it? No, he can't. Baron Corbin is avoiding the super kick like the play. He does not want to get his head kicked off. And I was going for a pin off that back body drop. But he's barely getting a one count. I don't even know that was a one count. The referee may have actually. Oh, and a big stomp to the small of the back. Oh, and another one to the front. And now wrenching on the neck. Oh, and a big punch straight to the side of the head. Referee, you can't let that happen. That's, that's against the rule. That's a closed fist. And now just wrenching with that big grip on the shoulder blade missile. I don't know what it is. Don't judge me, all right? Do I look like a freaking biologist here? Biologist. Oh! Baron Corbin getting stun bladed after a big reversal. And now Seth once again going to the top rope, Baron. Oh god, he's so far away! And he missed. Seth Cross tried. Tried and failed. But he's first to his feet, Baron Corbin. And he, Baron Corbin might be unconscious. That last hit was actually a pretty big one. He might be unconscious. Oh no! Seth! Oh my god, Baron Corbin not even waiting for Seth to get all the way over the rope. And now stalk him on the outside. Oh, and a big stop. Rolling over. Trying to get his heading, but oh, and there's a big knee to the head. Oh, and another big blow to the back. Baron Corbin is just in control here. Three count. Oh, but now Seth Cross Seth Cross is going to throw. I mean, begging Corbin to get up. He's begging him to get up. And he's throwing him against the apron. Throwing him against the, the ring post. Smashing him into the ring. And that's a seven count. Seth getting right back into the ring. Is he going to break up the count? He is. He never wants to see a count on victory when it's against Baron Corbin. Oh, and against the table now. And this, we normally don't see Seth Cross getting this vicious anymore. But I guess he's had enough. But no, Baron Corbin's had enough. Now Baron Corbin's had, had enough. And Seth is trying to get to his feet before Baron gets back in the ring. Oh, and he can't. Oh. Oh, and he got him. I think I just reversed the thing. I'm so proud of me. I think I reversed the thing. And there's a gut wrench suplex for your trouble, Baron. And now Seth doing all he can do just to keep Baron down and another gut run suplex. And that is a big man to be trying to do that too, just so you know. And a big knee drop to the face. Seth going up for that second rope. Calling for, calling for Baron to get up. He's begging him to get up. Begging him to stand up. He wants him to stand up and get him with that big forearm. And now he's going to the top rope. We're going to see another high risk maneuver. This might not be a good idea, Seth. Oh, what it is. But it is with a big splash right down there on the guts of Baron Corbin. Now he's calling for it. He wants his kick. He's 0 for 2. Is he going to be 1 for 3? Oh, it is! He finally gets it. And look at Baron Corbin. Look at where he's standing. Can Seth Cross get up top? Can he get up there? Can he get up there? He can Thank you. Into the swan top from the top rope. Again, that hang time. And once again, so exhausted, falling into the pen. One, two, can this be a bear to get up? He's not. Seth Cross is able to get that pinfall victory after yet another all-star match. Look at that deep six. Hooking the leg, but he couldn't get it. Whisper in the wind, couldn't get it. Lights out.
didn't get it. He could have gone for a ping at time. If you guys remember, he could have gone for it, but didn't. A big backbreaker right there. Going for the pin. I don't even think he got a one count. Look at this. That wasn't a one count. Come on, guys. And then look at that beautiful swan time. That is a beautiful angle. I just found our thumbnail. Unless something crazy happens. Unless, like, the rank goes up or something. I think that was our thumbnail right there, guys. And my god, Seth Cross. Very important. Five star match. Dude. I got it. But what is this? It's Sin Cara. Sin Cara's attacking. Seth Cross. I thought he might have been going after Baron Corbin. The two have quite the history. But no, he was going after Sin Cara. I just got a trophy. <laughs> nice try. That's funny. And now Seth <laughs> trying to deal with Sin Cara, who's just running down here out of nowhere. And oh, here we go. The whisper on the way. You can't catch me, can you? You can't catch me, can ya? And here we go, he's got the arm, he's got the head, and he's got the lights out. Is that it? The referee's calling for it to be it, is that it? And that's it. I don't know what Sin Cara was thinking, but he wasn't thinking straight. And Seth Cross showing him right there. You best get out my way, boy. You best not try that again. There you see, greatest of all time, Sin Cara is not even on this thing. Why is Big Cat? Sin Cara, what are you, oh my god, my heel rating went up again. So my heel rating is like creeping up because they keep making me do these things that make me a bad guy. Like, what am I supposed to do? The guy comes out and attacks me, man. Come on, man. And now we're joined backstage, Renee Young, or, did I say that right? Renee Young has a special guest, and let's talk about Sin Cara, Seth Cross. He ambushed you tonight during your own match. I don't have anything to share on that. I know what he's trying to do, and it's not going to work. I'm a professional. He can't get me off my game. I'll tell you what, if he wants to come on me, then let's do this in the ring. In a sanction match. Not, none of these back attacks. None of these, oh, hey, look at me. You don't see me coming so I can get the upper hand. Oh, you just had a match. And we'll see what he's really about. One-on-one, -on -one, face to face, and not like some little coward. All right, how about that, Sin Cara? There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Seth Cross, walking away fairly calm. But Renee's still shaking her head at me, man. Always with the head. And despite a loss to Sami Zayn, the NXT champion, Samoa Joe feels like he deserves a main event NXT match, mind you, but a match against the United States champion. So you can't even beat the NXT champion, but you're going to face the United States champion, and why he's still number two, I have no idea. How Jason Jordan got into the number one spot after I just had two five-star matches in a row. I don't know. Rigged. Game's rigged. 164 days. T-shirt sales are amazing. The heel meter's going down. It's something fantastic. Look at that. I've never seen such a... I have the smallest heel meter I think I've had in the game since we started gaining heel, <laughs> heel meter stuff. But enough about that, guys. Hey, look, if, if, if Samoa Joe wants to get beat again, let's, let, whatever. Then whatever. Maybe he's gonna attack me. Maybe he's a little chicken shit piece of crap. I don't know. But you know what I do know? I do know that I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. I are enjoyed this episode and you're enjoying the series. Of course, I would love to see you guys subscribe so you can follow along with this and all the other games we're playing on the channel. And if you are subscribed, make sure you ring the bell on your way out. That way you get notified of all the videos we do put up during the week. You can follow me on Twitter at DM underscore cross. You can follow WWE on Twitter at WWE. And you can follow WWE 2K17 on Twitter at WWE Games. And all three links for those profiles will be in the description below. But until next time, guys, that's all I got for y'all. Peace. Love y'all.